What the? Hey everybody, what's up? I heard a rumor about a ghost town. Supposedly it has a ton of vintage cars just sitting there for us to look at. So I wanna go check it out because I love old cars. I love ghost towns. So let's go see what this little town has to offer. This place is fairly easy to access. It's pavement the whole way and it's less than an hour away from Las Vegas. So if you're in Las Vegas and you wanna go see a ghost town with a bunch of cool vintage cars, supposedly this is the place. Hopefully what I've heard is right and we'll see a lot of cool stuff. So let's go. Dang, check out this old Dodge. Nice old limo and a teardrop trailer. Wow, this is amazing so far. Let's keep going. Check out these overland rigs. Very cool. That's a nice bus. Got an old Coca-Cola cooler and a Pepsi cooler. They just made it like that. But they got this truck chained to it just in case. It tips over. Water truck. Looks like it. Wow, a lot of these buses have been converted into pretty nice little places to stay. For how old that one is, it's pretty nice. And just so you don't forget, this is an old mining town. They got a rock drill out here in the dirt. Now that is an extremely short bus. Just to haul four kids to school, I guess. And if you have engine trouble, 
It's right there, so you can fix it. Okay, we got some old mining stuff up there, but it says keep out. So we don't get to go up there. I bet you there's some cool stuff up there too. I've never seen big holding tanks like this, made out of wood. But here's what I was talking about when they had wooden pipes. This was a wooden water tank. And all those rods just tighten the boards and they swell up because they're wet. Very cool. Honestly, I can't believe they held any water. Wow, look at this old thing. I think it's an old Willie's. Gosh, the interior's still kind of intact. No more steering column. <laughs> Look at that old Dodge. Wonder if that's an ice cream truck. Wow, look at this thing. This is cool too. Definitely a custom window. The bed is made out of wood. This is an awesome truck. This would be a cool overland rig. Oh, that old GMC is a beast. It's huge. The man. Look at that big old beast there. That thing's huge. How'd you like that for an overland rig? That's a, that's a bus put on the back of a military vehicle. That's pretty dang sweet. Look how big this thing is. Got some Mad Max spikes on it. Then you can't forget your four wheel drive car here. Got some rock protectors for the headlights. That's the grill on this thing. It's pretty funny looking. Looks like a catfish. Old Ford school bus. Well, I'm surprised more people haven't used this idea for a teardrop trailer. That would be a fun little camper. I don't think I've ever seen a chop top Volt Volkswagen before. That would be some low riding. <laughs> I don't think I'd fit in this car. That's kind of tiny. Another old converted school bus. 
they even put a mirror up there for the people up on the top. Another cool truck. That's the paint on that one's still pretty good. Oh, we got a canoe. Well, half of a canoe and a pretty dead motorcycle over there. Ooh, and this bus looks like it's pretty full of rat poop. Definitely an old hippie bus. Do you think that's an upgrade, honey? <laughs> From and to... From ours? <laughs> or is that a downgrade? I think it's probably a downgrade. Yeah, it looks a little beat up. It's nice and shiny, though. Definitely spot this guy out in the desert. Okay, as you can see, there is lots of stuff to look at here. We're still not even halfway through this town yet. What the? Wow, this is cool. So this plane was actually a prop for a movie. I think the movie was 3,000 miles to Memphis or something like that. I don't know, but it blows up and crashes. Hopefully it don't fall on me. It's crashing on me. Okay, we've reached the end of the tour on this side of the street. Now we gotta go to the other side. This looks like it's all probably mining antiques and stuff like that. A couple old buildings over there, but it says keep out, so we will so we don't get kicked out because we're not done yet. Check out that old car they just cut in half. They might have been using that in the mine. This looks like a big old generator. It is big. Probably a big air compressor. Yep, vertical air compressor. Wow, with metal wagon wheels. That's an old one. Oh, 
We got an old safe right here. There's another old safe. This one's cool looking. Hold it. Uh oh, there's a jail cell. I better get in jail. Okay, it won't let me in. So I'll pretend like I'm in there. Help, let me out. <laughs> Here's an airplane motor. I've always wanted to get a closer look at one of these. so little. I think that's the car my daughter wants. Got an old compressor. It's a nice little stove. Holy cow, and then you got a monster stove right behind it. This thing is massive. Mississippi number 1026. That door weighs like 40 pounds. That was way cool though. Somebody lose their safe? It doesn't open. So your stuff's safe for now. Old Ford. I don't know what model. Model A, Model T, Model B, Model Q. So much cool stuff here. Uh, most of that motor is still all there. Dang. More vintage vehicles than you can shake a stick at. My arm's tired from shaking my camera at him.
bunch of hoods up on the roof. Holy cow, look at this cactus. It looks nice and prickly. And we almost got some flowers getting ready to bloom too. Lots of them on this guy. This guy's doing way better than those guys. This one still has an old wooden rim on it too. The wood. There's a lizard. We got a little lizard. I don't think I can see him with the GoPro. He's right there under the bush. Hi, little guy. <laughs> oh, but look at the views here. Dang, this one's really full of cactuses. And I think they do weddings out here. So if you want to come get married in this cool old place, feel free. Probably better schedule an appointment though. You got some stained glass windows, an old organ. Hey, do you think I'm allowed to pull the bell? There's a string here. Yeah, there's no windows in this building besides the stained glass windows. So it's kind of breezy in here. But it does have a roof in case it's raining. Okay, my wife's going to play the piano. It sounds a little out of tune. Tink, 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 tink. Willies. Wait a second. Oh, check out that monster overland rig that they're building. <laughs> At least it's insulated. Those are the big thick foam panels off of steel buildings. Okay, I seen something suspicious over here in the desert. I gotta know what it is. So we're heading over there. Oh, I see some big old quail. <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, I found a little family of quails.
But this is what made me suspicious. There's a fence over here for some reason. Little memorial place, I guess. Possible cemetery. Definitely a little cemetery. I wish they'd let me go up in the mine area though. Looks like there's still some stuff hanging off the edge. Got a couple intact bottles out here too. No return. Not to be refilled. Ooh, looks like a silver spoon. Ah, uh, look at this old vending machine. It's got a mirror on it so you can look how fat you get after you eat all the candy. Holy cow. I remember my... I remember clear back when I had a barber in Ogden and he had an old Coke machine like this. Another tiny little British car. I think that's the car Mr. Bean drives. Well, first flowers of the season for me. Bunch of bees. Just antiques for days. Got some old drilling bits here. Wonder how old those Coors bottles are. It says Lucky Premium Beer. Railroad spikes, isolators, oh, it looks like a Coke bottle. Yep, Coke bottle. Well, that's where I'm going, is to the bathroom. Yeah. Here, will you flush the fire hydrant when I'm done? Check out this big old safe. Got your telephone booth. Yeah, I need to make a collect call. Yes, please. I got a couple of these things so you can have some public stonings. There's plenty of stones around here to throw at people. Holy cow. Look, there's. Go all the way to the top. That'd be fun. Drink Coca-Cola in bottles. Not in the can, in the bottles. Okay, I found an interesting little shack here with, looks like a tunnel. <laughs> Definitely a tunnel. And I, I can't go in here, it says keep out. There's a dead guy on the bed.
That was the last guy that went in here. I've never seen this many old wheelies in one place. Pretty cool. That building makes a lot of noise. This old car has an Area 51 license plate. So much cool old stuff here. Holy cow, look at this trailer. This old Dodge is pretty cool looking. It's like an old fuel truck. And holy cow, that looks like the same year as my buddy Frank's truck. I don't know, the grill looks different though. You tell me, Frank. So the same year? An Edsel. Still got fabric on the seats. Holy cow, that building doesn't look very safe at all from this angle. And there was a way to get all the way up into that top room too, if you want, if you dare. <laughs> and if you live here. Dang, we still got a big old can dump right here too. Must have been an old delivery truck for Coke. Man, look how good a shape this old truck's in. I don't see any dents. Most of the chrome's still nice and shiny. Yep, no dents. This is a nice old truck. How's the dashboard doing? Pretty good. This old bus. Oh, it's got the Oldsmobile rocket in there. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Oh wow, look at this old thing. Got a leaf spring across the back. That's crazy. Ford. With most of the engine still. It's got a little hole out front where you'd stick your crank in and crank your rotor over. Huge. Very, very huge. That was the amazing ghost town of Nelson, Nelson, Nevada. I highly recommend it. If you can ever make it out here, it's only about 45 minutes, an hour out of Vegas. There's tours you can take. It's pretty touristy, but it's well worth the stop. Get there early before all the people show up and you'll have a way better time. It seemed like right around the lunchtime hour is when all the people showed up. 
So if you can get here before then, very peaceful. You might have the whole place to yourself. Okay, I pulled over. I seen a possible mine at it near the town. Let's go look. None shall pass. Oh well, I'll keep trying. This is a pretty sweet spot. Very interesting mountains. Colorado rivers down that way. And I think I spotted one more possibility we'll go look at real quick. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but right there is where we're headed to. It's definitely an old mine. Oh, some more cactus with pretty yellow flowers that are about ready to bloom. Okay, I gotta scramble up this now. I'll see you at the top. Pretty cool. So there is a fence telling me not to go in there. So I'll just go in there what I did and call that one good. I guess we better go look at the top of this stope. Oh, they got it fenced off too. This is where all the light was coming from. Okay, I got a rock this time that's bigger than a pebble. Yeah, I don't think it was very deep. I think there was just the one upper tunnel and the lower tunnel, and it probably dead ended. The waste rock pile is pretty small. So I don't think they got very far on this one.
I spotted a mine shaft. Let's go look. Just right up here. Got a little rock wall here. Probably just so that hill slide doesn't come down on them. Old cans. Oh, but it's nothing. Well, it was nothing. Just a dent in the rock. <laughs> I don't know if they were mining this or if they're just using it for storage, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, so maybe it was just a little hermit shack. Some guy up here living in the cliffs. You never know. Well, that was an awesome little adventure. Definitely worth the stop. Plenty of vintage cars, ghost town. It was amazing. These mountains right here are pretty amazing too. There's some brown hoodoos over here in this wash. A couple big ones. But it's time for us to get out of here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.